go to the data files and open eTry11. Go to File, Save As, and save it to your Excel folder with your underscore first name, underscore last name. Alright, so in this document what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at just some different formulas to use and where to find them. So right here it says totals. So one of the assumptions that you can make when it's total is that you're going to find the total of the column. So what you can do here is go ahead and type equals sum. And remember if you still aren't comfortable with using the formula and the parentheses, you can always click on the sum that shows up and it tells you exactly how to put in the formula. So we're going to sum everything for January close the parenthesis, and if you press control enter you can stay in that same cell. So it just calculated mine readjusted the column width, if yours did not then go ahead and make the column a little bigger. So if yours looks like this it means you have an error and the error is that your column's not wide enough so go ahead and widen your column so it looks right. And instead of making you calculate everything we're just going to use the fill handle so go down to the bottom right corner of the cell and drag it over and find the totals of all of them. And as you can see, my columns are still not wide enough. So I'm going to have the select all button up here and just double click in between one of them and it fixes everything in the whole spreadsheet. Now we're going to calculate the average for January. So come into B12 and say equals. And the nice thing about Excel is a lot of the things that you calculate are very similar to what you're trying to do. So let's go ahead and type in average. And it starts to pop up and tells you how to do it. So make sure when you're finding the average, you do not use the total. You only use the information. So you're finding the average of B5 to B9. Close the parentheses and press enter. All right, now we're going to find the maximum sales during January. So if you're not sure what the formula is for max, one thing that you can do is for quick formulas like maximum minimum average is if you come to the auto sum function up here and you hit the drop down arrow, a lot of the things that you use pretty regularly will show up in here. So sum is the most common one, but right now we need the max. And it gives us B12 as our max so that's not right. So make sure with B total selected you select B5 to B9 so that's fine equals max open parenthesis B5 colon B9 and press enter and now we're gonna find the minimum but I'm gonna show you a different way to find the formula just in case the formula is not here even though this one is. So up here on the ribbons go to formulas and a lot of these, so you can look in the auto sum section, recently used, financial, logical, text, date and time, look up reference, math and trig, and more functions if something you're looking for is not there. But luckily for us, min is in the trig one, in the math one. Maybe it's not, never mind, go to more functions and go to statistical. It's definitely in here. So here it is. So there's max and min. So choose min and you can highlight min A to see what it is but it's more for um, more complicated sessions. So right now we just need the regular min. So select min and it comes up with this window. So what you can do then is use this number so you can click on that and get your range. So B5 to B9 and now that we have it go ahead and click OK. And so it found the minimum of those values. So I know this looks pretty easy because we only have five values that we're finding the minimum and maximum of, but if you have a larger spreadsheet it makes this a lot easier. And we're going to do the same thing with the median. So median, go to more functions, statistical, and find median. And we're going to find the median of B5 to B9 again and click OK. So this little button right here that we're using is called the range finder. Alright, so that is our median score. Alright, so now I'm going to let you cheat a little bit because now I know that you know really well where to go to find formulas and how to put them in there. 
So what we're going to do is for the rest of these, we're just going to use the fill handle to drag them to the right. So we're going to go all the way through column E with our average, max, min, and median. And go ahead and click save if you haven't done so so far. Right, and now what I want you to do is I want you to look down at your status bar. So down here where you normally have these things. So when you have items selected, like right now, go ahead and select E5 through E9. And if you look down here on your status bar, it tells you the average, the count, you have five items selected, and the sum of all of those items. So it's just a handy little tool if you need to do a quick check. Okay. Alright, so now I want you to go ahead and save, and you are now ready to complete projects 23 and 24 in your book.